Hello, the co-creative destiny, love and peace weavers. Here's Erica Macy, also known as Erica Macy Me, like um, the title of my webpage where I've woven my surname Macy uh, into the name and who know me by now already. Uh, it's all about weaving, weaving different ancestral threads, our uh, disease threads, anything which is um, blocked, clotted, um, uncertain. This is uh, the weirding way, which is a nose weaving, weaving back into whole, wholeness. And um, yeah, synchronistic symbols also play an important part. Uh, in a weirding way <laughs> because <clears throat> intuitively if we perceive that everything is interconnected then those oracle cards or symbols and runes that um, come to show themselves in the moment can be like breadcrumbs giving us uh, some yeah some clarity about the next step um, and yesterday I saw on my uh, in my uh, on my walk to the woods uh, a dear family who I've visited very regularly especially during last year when I was uh, journeying with breast cancer because the white deer Bilovotia it's uh, in Tibet, it's Shambhala, a very uh, like beautiful land in Tibet. In Siberia, it's known as Belovotia. Um, it is said to be around the Altai Mountains of sacred mountain Beluka. And I've written about it on my trip in 2018. And also during my Siberian shamanic education last year, uh, where the white deer Bilovodja appeared to me as my medicine totem. I have painted him here. And um, like this week's rune Algis that came up, this is the protection rune. It looks like um, the foot of the crow or a swan but also like the antlers. For me, they look like the antlers of the deer. And I also have got um, the rune here, secretly woven in here as well, on the, on the thresholds here as a protection on my healing uh, journey. And I also saw his um, antlers like helping me last year with my tumor metastasis to spiral spiral them up in, in, into the source. Yeah, so this is my magical painting. And going deeper <laughs> into the in interconnectedness <clears throat> of healing as well. I also ordered my drum last year made out of deer skin from the Alte Mountains, which are known as Belovodje. And I also wrote about it in my book about my breast cancer journey. Here, the even more weirding way, the art chemy, which is art and alchemy of turning demons into diamonds. And because our oracle card for next week is the drum, I like to read you a passage about the drum. And like I started to finally beat my own drum. So today on Thursday, the 29th of April, it was last year, my drum, my drum had finally arrived after three months waiting. I just looked what I wrote about ordering the drum on 28th of January. Good things come to those who can wait. So now I'm over the moon 
but my Siberian drum has finally arrived made of deer skin from Altai mountains. That way I am even more connected to my medicine totem, the white deer Belovodie. I am following the insights and impulses from my medicine totem white deer. Now I can continue to beat my own healing rhythm on my journey with breast cancer, the even more weirding way unfolding where I turn my demons into diamonds. There is so much soul magic and inner alchemy in this embodied resurrection. Since I am in the process of deep listening to my own soul song, this drum is so helpful. Yesterday, I did the planting of seeds ritual while drumming, hearing a horse in Ewa's rune rhythm, because Ewa's is my double uh, rune in a, in a birth runes report, which is based on a soul tapestry. If you like to discover your main six hero makers, your birth runes, get in touch with me. And after I sent it to my shamanic practicing partner Kim, she could also hear the horse, horse rhythm. Because I had to wait for the tram for such a long time to arrive from the Altai mountains in Siberia, they gifted me with a traditional Siberian mouth harm too. I had to think of the harp as a lost soul part that my friend brought back to me five years ago during another shamanic education. I see it as a further great sign of reweaving all lost parts into wholeness. Furthermore, furthermore I received a love talisman as a necklace. Here you can see it. It describes the love story of Siberian rivers Katun and B, who finally meet after they die and join in the big river Orb. I actually collected a stone from each river when I visited Siberia in 2018 with Siberian shaman Ahamkara, with whom I am currently also doing the one year education. Another divine timing since I've been doing a soul partner attraction uh, practice during the time when I received this talisman. So the weirding way is seeing uh, the woven synchronicities and signs uh, that are always there if we start to walk through life and to live life with um, with as many open senses and eyes as possible. And I just read out about the drum and another miraculous synchronicity is also that I've drawn through the uh, oracle card of the drum for next week. So here is the wisdom of the card. The essence. The rhythm of the drum tunes you to the beating heart of the universe. Its wood frame links you to the trees and helps you journey to the lower world via the runes and the upper world through its branches. The drum skin gives the shaman the powers of the animal kingdom. Striking the drum calls forth the power of the thunder and the rumbling of the earthquake. The drum invites a trance state where healing and prophecy happen. The invitation. The drum invites you to take the next bold step in your journey. The forces of heaven and earth are aligned behind you, supporting effortless action. This is not a time to push against the river. The current will take you exactly where you want to go once you jump in. Collect your power tools and summon your courage because it is going to be a wild and glorious journey. Allow yourself to be carried by the rhythm of what is really essential in your life. The medicine of the drum. You travel to the beat of a different drum 
It's time to acknowledge you do not fit a mold or role or relationship that is not in suit with you. Find your rhythm, respond to the heartbeat of the distant drum. The price you pay for lingering becomes higher with each passing day. Now is the time to move on. I just love again uh, this beautiful synchronicity of this oracle card and also my healing journey where um, the deers I've seen yesterday, I also in my medicine painting below um and also in this rune of the algis, which also stands for the protection of above. It's also known as a rainbow bridge associated with the deity Heimdall in Norse mythology, who is a uh, safeguarding um, <coughs> Um, the thresholds between Midgard and Asgard where the gods reside and in my case it's um, um, the white deer below through his antlers who connects me always to hear my like my body and also to higher uh, spirit to source and another synchronicity is that <coughs> I have drew this Virginia symbol, which is a Slavic archetypal um, yeah, goddess symbol. Here the raven is the wise one. This is actually my main uh, goddess power. That's why I've um, embroidered the raven here around my center, around my heart. If we see each other like we are like a tree and there are three archetypal energies in the roots then our main energy and then free here like the leaves the branches in the in the tree and the next week i'm very excited that it's the raven <laughs> it's my main energy the guinea energy stands for wisdom and the affirmation is like a bird i see my being from distance with observer eyes and let myself be filled with wisdom and freedom. She helps me to access all ancestors' wisdom and eliminates lies and bad energies. I also write about how um, shamanic journeys with the raven have helped me on my healing journey with breast cancer of, of diving into the underworld because raven uh, flies between different worlds and dimensions and the raven was very helpful to go into like chemotherapy waters, toxic waters and transform them by bringing them to the surface, to the light, to the source and that's what I call turning demons into diamonds. I have um, actually got an online course on the weird thing way teachable sites with different shamanic journeys that um, that are also based on my book and that you might also find useful to go on your own underworld journey to meet your demons and to then transform them into diamonds um, I've included also an, a new offering of a very brief reading, like five bis te to ten minutes. But similarly, like now, I draw you an oracle card, a rune, and a Berigini symbol to your question that you might have in your life. And then um, give you an intuitive reading. It's not like an exact answer that this is the way you should do it. But because I perceive everything as interwoven, <laughs> uh, those are like um, midwiving uh, symbols that are like breadcrumbs uh, uh, initiating your own soul wisdom and give you like a nudge uh, to take the next step in your life. So I hope you found it useful and wishing you a blessed uh, next week with the drum 
the wise raven and the protective algis room. Blagadaru, many, many blessings. Bye for now.